That was sweet. He hit it as it was just drifting through the fast stuff. Ooh. That was nice. This is much more difficult than I thought it'd be. Oh, that was a little guy. Where's the big yellow ones? Whiff. Oh, there was a big juicy one. Where'd he go? Oh, that one about landed in the bucket. I wonder if I should have brought my bait net. Oh, I'm getting you. I saw you. Where you at? Oh, there he is. Got him. All right. Oh. River rats, we are going catfishing today. And it's grasshopper time of year. So let's go. Oh, and I have my brother with me too. How's it going? Hey. <laughs> We're up to three. Four. He's just a little fella, but he'll work. This is where you hope nobody you know drives by and sees you doing what you're doing. <laughs> They'd probably understand. Oh, that was a good one. Get him. Where'd he go? He got away. We have four and we need like 20 more at least. You did? Sweet. I just got one too. This fishing thing ain't that hard. Well, this is, we're not to the fishing yet. <laughs> Progress. Progress is being made. The little red ones are the best, but the yellow ones will work if we can find them. They're beefier. If you ever want to feel like a little kid, it's a good way to do it. Huh. Where'd he go? Oh, dang it, I had him. Timmy, you can do it. I got him. Got, you, got him. I don't know how many you think we got, Z. I want to say like 40 or 45. I'm saying 35. We're not counting them. I'm just going to say I'm right and you're wrong. Fine. <laughs> you're the director. We have enough bait. We are, are hopefully going to go catch something for dinner. Be nice. Yep. Okay. Heck, there's grasshoppers down here. I guess there's grass to hop on. Yeah, most of the time this is underwater. Hopefully this isn't too squishy. Yeah, the rapids aren't real rapidy when the water's this low. The stick's gonna get you, Z. What? You you might be able to high step it. Wow, that's an impressive beaver slide. You looking at this beaver slide? Coming? Yeah, just trying to get on some solid ground. Easier said than done. Yep. Oh yeah, nice and mucky. Could have caught frogs for bait, I guess. So we'll try this first set for about 15 or 20 minutes and we'll try the second set. Hopefully we can catch something. That north wind, I don't like that north wind. Think of all the ankle stability you're building right now. You can set everything down for the moment. Even got a rod holder for you. If I can get it in between these rocks. Oh yeah, perfect. Oops, sorry. So I meant it. I can feel it, yeah. It was from the right, bottom of my heart. Alright, time for a hopper. How do you, how, so how do you hook those things anyways? Right through the collar. Oh, you put a little collar on them? That's cute. What? <laughs> Look at me like that. No comment. What do you mean by collar? Come on, talk to me here. The collar is the thorax, Z. Why don't you say thorax? See, this is more your fault than mine. <laughs> You're right, I'm sorry. There you go, that's right. It'll put three on this one. Maybe four. Four little fellas. Oh, one's trying to escape. He almost escaped. This is why we caught so many, because it takes so many of these little guys for one bait. All right, one bait, done up. 
Not expecting much here, but you never know. Definitely worth chucking one down. They like rapids in the evenings in the late summer and into fall. Any idea why? Nope. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that lives in them. Go get them, bud. Wow, it's like less than eight inches deep. If we get a bite here, I'll be pretty impressed. This might be like a five minute deal here. Any taps on that one? Nope. Yeah, reel it in. Seen enough here. Well, it's not ideal, but it ain't going anywhere, I don't think. Okay. Got a knot using. The old fisherman's knot, also known as the improved clinch knot. Seven wraps. Six or seven for this pound test. The heavier the line, the fewer wraps I use. There's a couple grasshoppers left on the hook. Oh. Definitely got peckered though. You get nailed at. What do you do when that happens? Watch it. <laughs> See if somebody gets it bold. Exactly. I have beat up the channel cats on grasshoppers before. It's just been a while since I've tried it because catching them is time intensive. Oh no, he went mud first. What's that? That one grasshopper dove right in the mud. Yeah, I feel so much more confident with cut bait, but we'll see. I need a catfish to change my mind. Ooh, that's just a tap. No, no, wait, wait till he pulls it down. <laughs> he just shaking it. Kind of wondered if this would be an issue. Little guys pecking on him. And who knows if they're even catfish. He almost was serious for a second. It's more of a when it goes down and pull back. Oh, you miss him. Mm, yeah. It's all right. So did I, what did I do wrong there? Uh, it wasn't the greatest takedown, like, what do you mean? like the, the best bite. Oh. My bobber's bobbing. Sorry, it looked like it was about to go under. My bobber was doing what it was supposed, what you it's what supposed it, to be doing. Spencer? What? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. As a matter of fact. I would clarify that. Here. The best are when they just slam it and it's a no doubter. Well, with our current weather conditions, that might be asking a little too much. North wind, bluebird skies, no no clouds. Not the most ideal day to fish. Maybe we should have brought two bottom rods because I'm literally getting no bites on the bobber. Oh, as soon as I opened my mouth. Bet he stole my hopper. Feels pretty baitless. Mine. Uh, yeah, pull. You got him? Yep. Keep him on. How small is this thing? Oh, Holy cow. Oh. That's kind of impressive that you hooked him, to be quite honest. Why is that? Because his mouth is so small. So When's the last for a giant, but he's a he's a cute little guy. When's the last time you caught a catfish of any size? <laughs> Over a decade. A decade. Fish in general, dude. Aw. Uh, hey, throw mate. him back in the water before you drop him and get concuss him on the rocks. All right, just chuck him, or yeah, All right. a little ways. Yep, perfect. See, you, dude. <laughs> Thank you much. All right, I need to change my battery. I'll throw some more on it. I don't know how to put their collars on. <laughs> River certified proprietary technology. No comment. I don't <laughs> even know what to say. Need to see that a bite where my bobber just is gone. You blink and it's not there anymore. Everyone else is just like, is this a little suspicious? <laughs> it's grasshoppers, man. They swim all the time. <laughs> yeah. Getting nibbed very hard right now. Oh, ripped it right out of his mouth. Patience, grasshopper. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Um, oh. Dang. God, 
Might switch to a smaller hook. Oh yeah, I don't have any. Dang it. <laughs> Oh, I got one. Holy cow. He ain't even bad. He's going to be edible size if he stays on. Oh, sweet. He hit it as it was just drifting through the fast stuff. Ooh. That was nice. He's acting bigger than I thought he originally was. Watch it be a flathead. No, just a nice channel cat. Ooh. No, but he looks quite delicious. <laughs> oh, here. He crushed it. It's like clearing his throat maybe grasshoppers don't suck if we get one more like him we're in business bud not hook great not hook great? no what do you mean? like the hook, the hook fell right out oh get him got him? Yep. nice are things turning around for us? I think it might be bigger than yours. Yeah, right. Right? You want to compare them? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's being rude now. Busy. Hey, you're the one who said it might be bigger. I was kidding. <laughs> it was obvious. He's bigger than the other one, though. A little bit. Let well, we me throw him back. Um, yeah. Right. Yeah, I'd cast right in the same spot. It all. Man, I can't believe he just crushed it like that. I'm gonna put a fre one fresh one on mine and leave the rest of it on there. All those grasshoppers went through them in like an hour. <laughs> Not even. I want to see another one hit it like that. That was sweet. Oh. <laughs> Not there. Yeah, yeah, got it. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, there's one. Am I on your line? Oh, I missed him. It wasn't your fault. If it was, I'd blame you for sure, though. <laughs> oh, you threw it right in the junk. Well, on the grasshoppers, I am pretty much getting bites all the time, but the angle I'm drifting in is making it tough to set the hook. Because I have a line that gets caught in the water as I drift it. You can see it, so we can get it. Yummy. <laughs> it's a little tangled, so you have to untangle it. Okay. That's how you cast, everybody. Everybody saw it. This is a much better angle, so if I miss one, it's on me. I have no excuses left now. Well, actually, I do. I just say small. Got a little guy messing with me. Don't think he realizes who he's messing with. About to teach him. Yep, just like that. Oh, and he got the last laugh. He's like, thanks for the grasshopper, sucker. Would have been a good catch, too. You're just like, dude, I gotta eat. <laughs> We have like eight grasshoppers left. So we have essentially two bites. <laughs> Not two fish, just two bites. How do you feel about just camping here? I've never fished it for flatheads. I mean, we're already here. Well, Z, I think we're gonna get what we get. Well, he's big enough for us both to eat. So we got that going for us. 
You look like a pack mule. Thank you. <laughs> Is that all your stuff? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Just need my stuff, the cooler, and bait. On a positive note, we should be able to get her all in one more trip. And I don't need this any. What's up? Oh, that's fine. I've carried that thing a long ways. I've walked 500 miles. Now I would walk 500 more. I don't know any other words. <laughs> to be the man who walks a thousand miles. Oh, it's a thousand, not five hundred? Yeah, a thousand no, sounds. Five hundred, five hundred, thousand. Oh, yeah. Did I get it, math? Yeah. Yeah, numbers are hard. Aren't they? Is that kilometers and miles? Multiply by 0.6. Oh, we're making progress. Slow, incremental, ow. Gritty progress. We've been hauling stuff. We're gonna camp down here, give her a try, but um, we're gonna fry that catfish up. We brought all the, the cooking goods, and he is invited to dinner. Oh my god, the bugs are terrible. Yeah, they are. That thing is doing nothing. <laughs> all right, we got the cat. Chopped up into nugs. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Put them all in there. They're gonna get marinated in pranks. I'm gonna turn the light off so I don't get enough protein from yeah. bugs. <coughs> Those are gonna be fire, dude. All right, we got the heat grease heating up. The bugs haven't came yet. No, they're coming. Waiting on a flathead. It is time. This poorly butchered channel cat nuggets are going in. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that sizzle. Yes, that sizzle is nice. This will also be interesting cooking in the dark because the bugs are gonna get terrible here in a sec. And it'll also be interesting because I just rubbed Frank's Red Hot right in my eye. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you do that. No, because it's dark. <laughs> I mean, when you say it like that, yeah. <laughs> I'm unfollowing you. <laughs> Nobody would... Tired, tired. Everyone unfollow him. He's a mean older brother. Nobody would blame you. <laughs> Prepare yourself, see. The bugs are coming. But so is the fried fish. Oh. Hashtag worth it. That was very millennial of you to talk like that. Thank you. Or is that even millennial? Would that be more like Gen Z? What's after Gen Z? I have no idea. Me either. Need more mix. I hope we have enough. I think it's going to be close. Oh yeah, I can feel that vinegar based hot sauce in every little cut on my finger. <laughs> it's great. I'll be okay. You don't worry about me, little fella. This was a long drawn out process. When we finally arrived to completion. Sweet. Z. Ah, awesome. Yep. You have to try it. Mm, sounds too. sounds crunchy. Mm -hmm. Is it like a fish finger? Kind of. Tastes way freaking better though. Call it a success? Oh yeah. Hands down. Alright. I haven't confirmed that, but they look legit. <laughs> Definitely good. Mm. I don't know if I can confirm that grasshoppers are a better option than cut bait but i can confirm the catfish tastes the same no matter what they eat that's good yep i'm styling my bug net but we're gonna hang out here for the evening and hopefully catch flathead probably eat some bugs too in addition to the catfish but hope you enjoyed the video if you like hit the like button if you want to see more hit the subscribe button um, I got my podcast linked in the description. People ask me what rods and reels and stuff I use. Like, pretty much all my equipment's linked in the description, too. You can check it out. There's a link there. It's an affiliate link, so um, it doesn't cost you any more to buy stuff if you click on it. But if you click on it, it helps me a little bit, too. And I really appreciate that. So, But anyway, thanks for watching the video. It means a ton. Like, it really does. Hope you catch a giant. Morning. We didn't catch anything. 
did wake up to this rod. Originally, it was like this. But when I woke up, it was like this. Because all the line <laughs> had ran off the reel downriver. And I slept through it. <laughs>